everybody, what's up? It's Grace, and right now I'm going to be talking about the nine books that I would bring with me on summer vacation. Before I get started on those books, this video is being sponsored by HarperCollins Publishers, so a big thank you to them. And it's in honor of the new release of Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Cotugno, which is a sequel to 99 Days. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a recap of 99 Days. We follow a young girl named Molly. She's back in her hometown on summer vacation, and on her first night she's there, a mean girl from high school, Julia, eggs her house. And because of this, Molly knows that everyone remembers how she she had left her relationship with Patrick. I guess it was ended on bad terms. Something had happened with Molly and Gabe, who is Patrick's brother. So of course that's gonna add a huge conflict. As the summer continues, she's just being bullied and you know, she's given nasty letters and she's just wanting the summer to end so she can go off to college and forget all like her horrible past. But one day she's tapped on the shoulder and it is by Gabe, Patrick's brother, who is supposed to be in college. And he invites her to a party and because she's just been having such a bad summer, she wants to have a little bit of fun. So she goes to this party but while she's at the party, Patrick is there and Patrick is supposed to be in college and so Patrick sees his first love with his brother and she doesn't know if Patrick will ever forgive her. I think this story is going to be a really deep coming of age novel that it just signifies the heart wants what the heart wants and sometimes it's messy and it's complicated and it doesn't make sense but it's life. And so in the sequel Nine Days and Nine Nights, I can't say a lot about it because it's spoilery. We follow Molly and she is spending her next summer in Europe. She wants to reinvent herself, forget her past and just move on. While she's in Europe, she runs into Gabe, who is with another girl, and she's starting to have feelings for the wrong guy. And in nine days and nine nights, her life is pretty much going to be flipped upside down. And she just really has to deal with her feelings because in a way she feels guilty for the way she feels, but again, the heart wants what the heart wants. And I love that this novel is set in Europe and it's a perfect summer read and I think it's gonna be great. And this book came out May 1st, so it is out now. I'm getting on to the nine books that I would bring with me on summer vacation, but the kicker here is I only have nine seconds to tell you why I would bring them with me on summer vacation. I already have a hard time explaining why I love books and what they're about with a vast amount of time so I know that this is going to be a challenge for me but I'm always up for a challenge so let's get started first book that I would bring with me definitely um, on summer vacation I would say the whole trilogy but just because we I have a limited amount of books that I bring it is this summer I turned pretty by Jenny Han so nine seconds on the clock ready go so I would bring The Summer I Turned Pretty because it is the perfect summer read. It's complicated, it's cute, the family dynamic is amazing, it's sad, it is amazing, and I love it, and I love Belly. That's her name, it's weird. Okay, I'm done. The main character's name is Belly, or that's her nickname, but it's so cute. And I'm, I can't say a lot because I only had nine seconds, but just this series, I read it so long ago, and it is amazing. The next book that I would bring with me on summer vacation is Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. And the reason why I would bring it with me is because it is the perfect coming of age novel. It is diverse in so many ways, different from a lot of the coming of age novels that I've read. It's great. <laughs> okay. If my career consisted of me trying to explain things in nine seconds, let me tell you. I would be broke. This book I know is going to be the biggest challenge for me to explain in nine seconds because... <laughs> Alright, the reason why I would bring uh, Making Faces by Amy Harmon with me on summer vacation is because... <laughs> I'm scared to even like press the button. I'm like, <laughs> I have to say things with purpose. It's a heartbreaking novel. It deals with a guy who... Um... <laughs> no! I think that that was just a practice round. So this is a real, this is a real round right here. <sighs> Okay. Okay, the reason why I would bring this book with me on summer vacation is because it's heartbreaking. It follows this guy who was a pretty boy in high school, but he went to the war, and when he came back, his face was disfigured, and he had to deal with the consequences of it, and how people just don't really care about people that are not pretty, and I know that I'm explaining this super wrong. You know, I'm sort of breaking the rules here, but I'm trying to explain this a little bit better for you to understand because it warrants a better synopsis. It's just a novel that really opens up your eyes how people um, will treat you due to your physical appearance. The main character of this novel, he was a pretty boy in high school, and um, because of this he was uh, treated really well everyone loved him super popular then he went to the war and his face was completely disfigured and so when he came back everyone kind of just didn't want to talk to him because they felt bad and they turned a blind eye to him they didn't really treat him like a human and it was just such an eye-opener and it is a great novel that everyone should read. The next book that I would bring with me on summer vacation is Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. This is one of my favorite contemporary novels of all time and I don't read a lot of contemporary novels. So um, I read this a long time ago but it is very vivid in my mind so that's when I know a book is really good. So the reason why I'm going to bring this book with me on summer vacation is because 
it deals with a girl who has OCD, which is really interesting. I feel like it's dealt with in such a nice way. And there's the biggest plot twist of all time in this book. And it's amazing and you should read it to people. Yay! Now getting on to the books that I have not read, but I would want to bring with me on summer vacation because if I have 99 days to read, might as well get some big books in there. And that is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray, the sequel to The Diviners, which is one of my favorite books and I still haven't read the sequel, which is wild. But the reason why I would bring this with me on summer vacation is because it's really big and I would have a lot of time to read it and it deals with ghosts and it's set in the 20s, it's very interesting and I really need to read the sequel, honestly. That's why I would bring it with me. Does the third book even come out? Maybe? I don't know. I'm really out of the loop with this. Now the next book that I would bring with me on summer vacation is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elyra Science. I've had this book unread on my shelf for so long and the reason why I would want to bring this novel with me on summer vacation is because I heard it has one of the most epic friendships in it and it's diverse and interesting and unlike anything that has been published yet and I think there's a movie coming out or a TV show, I'm not sure, but that was 11 seconds. If I'm going on summer vacation, I'm bringing this book with me. The next book that I would want to bring with me on summer vacation is uh, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and the reason why I would want to bring this novel with me on summer vacation is because I really liked the Simon and Baz fanfiction and fangirl and I think that having their own story would be really awesome and it's like Harry Potter and I really want to read it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Honestly, my vocabulary is so eloquent that just so proud of myself. And the last book that I would want to take with me on summer vacation is Lizzie by Don Eus, I think it is. And the reason why I would want to take this novel on with me on summer vacation is because I believe it's a retelling of Lizzie Borden. Or it does deal with the story of Lizzie Borden, which is creepy and interesting, and you should watch the BuzzFeed Unsolved episode of that deals with Lizzie Borden. If you're not familiar with the story of Lizzie Borden, you should, yeah, just go watch the BuzzFeed Unsolved video. Um, but I have, I read the first chapter and it's so creepy that I just know I'm really gonna love this book and it's definitely going to be a book that would be great to read in October. So, but I'm probably gonna read it before then because I like creepy things. Every season is a good season to read creepy things. So those were the nine books that I would take with me on summer vacation. If you share similar interests, let me know, or what books that you would want to bring with you on summer vacation. Again, a big thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you in my next one.